Trying to get off from fighthype.com. I'm here with my man Jahan Ingram. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, as always, you know, you're at the gym, working hard, you know, Mayweather promotions. Uh, first and foremost, uh, how's everything going? How was how's the, you know, your recent fights? How's everything going with you? Um, everything is going good. I just recently fought two weeks ago, uh, third round knockout, you know, against somebody that was 3-0. So, you know, we, we doing things out here. Now, you know, just having that, you know, that, that nice win come two weeks ago, uh, what do you do in between? You just like, go back right into the gym, you take a little break, do you go on vacation? Uh, normally, I take I take a week off and then I, I get right back into the gym. I don't um, get back and go straight hard. I just get back, shake out, you know, get back used to things until I know about the next fight date. Awesome. Now, you know, mention of like a quick turnaround, you know, um, Floyd had a big quick turnaround. He had the fight in over in Risen, had that, that stoppage. And now he's gonna be fighting the YouTuber Deji. Do you know a little bit about Deji or anything? Um no, I actually just recently found out that he's brothers with KSI. So mm -hmm. I didn't know that them two was related. But um I was here for the press conference and I seen him at uh when I just seen his body build and his height, I was like, it's gonna it's gonna be quick. Really? It's gonna be quick, yeah. He, um and I'm not trying to knock because anybody can be built any type of way and can have yeah. their fight, but so I'm not trying to knock him for the way he's built, but like as as somebody that's done done this all their life, you can just look at somebody and be able to tell, like yeah, like he, he, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna make it. I mean, well, so just you know, like just as the YouTube aspect, I know a lot of these guys don't have any real amateur backgrounds when they're coming in, and they're mostly fighting amongst each other, like right. you know. Um, do, do you get a little props from like coming from the YouTube world? Oh yeah, and actually um, saying you know what. I, I do the Floyd Mayweather exhibition, you know, like I, I get, I definitely get anybody that steps in the ring, I give them props. It's um, you know, they don't really have to have a big amateur background or anything like that, because at the end of the day, when you step in there, that's showing you got enough heart and enough belief in yourself to be able to step in that ring. It takes it takes a lot to get in that ring. A lot of people can't do that. So they any, anybody that gets in there has my um respect. It don't matter if they're YouTubers or not, but but it's um. It's, 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 it's a good thing though because it's bringing a lot of new fans to the boxing world. So because they bring in people from YouTube into boxing, so we getting more more uh, people watching us fight and stuff like that because because uh, of people that's on YouTube. Now you recently sparred Floyd, uh, you know, uh, and you've been in the ring with him. Um, so obviously you can actually have a, a real assessment on what he's capable of doing now and you know and things of that nature. Huh? Yeah, so it, with me sparring him, yeah, it was uh, it, it was crazy. It was one crazy experience. Um, and then I just recently seen him spar for getting ready for this fight. And and man, when it when really he, like like a couple days ago. Or? Yeah, uh, it was last week. He, I seen him spar because I came in and watched him spar last week. He uh, his movement, like the beat at the age he is, he he moved crazy, like. Like, I, I say he moved better than me, and I'm really? young, so. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 21, and so he moved better than me. Like, I know that comes with experience and a part of it, and, and you know, with uh, with a lot of practice and stuff, but the way he do it is just, it's, it was just beautiful to watch. It was like, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't ever know, because everybody come out and fight different, but if he come out and fight like he sparred the other day, that um that uh he he ain't getting touched. Now you know I've always heard about like Floyd's ability to like change the rhythm and, and hit you in between um you know or kind of like change that, that that rhythm flow. Is is that true? Like does he have an awkward rhythm, like a controlled awkward rhythm? Um I wouldn't say it's an awkward rhythm. It's it's just he got he got awkward timing. Mm. Yeah, I, I say it's awkward timing. I know it ain't nobody probably heard that before, but awkward timing. So it's like he, when he throwing his punches, you know he going he he got your timing, so he gonna catch it. But it gets awkward because when you're throwing, he's moving in a defense way to not get hit, but he's also hitting you while he's moving in defense. So it's, that's why I'm saying, like especially from the way I just watched him the other day, the way he was doing his defense and and. It wasn't like he'd do his defense and then throw a punch. He was doing his defense and throwing a punch while he was not getting hit. So it's just he got that awkward timing with his defense, and it's that's what makes it hard with him. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and just seeing the fact that you gain a lot of experience, just being in there. Just how many rounds did you get an opportunity? I don't even, I can't even tell you because, like, for that win, it was, it was, it was three of us that was with him, that was his sparring partners. But I, the, I, after he sparred me, I was his main sparring partner until he left to go to Dubai. Mm. Cause even, cause if I, I didn't get to go with him, cause I had to fight. Um, so if I guarantee, if I went with him, I probably still would have been his main sparring partner out there. But uh, so just too many rounds. Yeah, we did, we did a lot of rounds here. We did a lot of rounds in LA. So I only I can't even keep, I don't know I don't even know how many rounds we done did. I mean you might even get a little bit of something with the veggie fight too then possibly maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Over me. And, and just um just just overall just your thoughts. You know I know this, this whole YouTube thing and I, and I know some boxing fans are like are we really getting into the YouTube thing? But the thing is Jake Paul is going to be fighting Anderson Silva next week. And you know he's been very vocal. Floyd fought his brother. You know. Uh, Floyd and Jake Paul, obviously the favor would be towards Floyd, but what can you envision in that type of fight? Like, would you see Floyd be the aggressor and push down him? Would you see Floyd just keep Floyd outboxing him? Do you see him hurting Jake, like, even at this age, you know? Um, like, with, like with Floyd, just like with any boxer, it's hard to tell what they're going to go in there and do, because, like, you might, you might see a guy coming in every day knocking him out in the ring and then when he gets to his fight he don't want to knock him out he just he boxing the whole fight so it's just hard to tell um, what to expect with him but obviously as far as skill wise he's not going to be able to keep up with Floyd but as far as hurting him I don't I don't think I don't think Floyd would cuz cuz they 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 some big guys yeah they're huge they some like, big like guys so cruiserweight. yeah like I wouldn't just Go in there and, and and get too close and try to and try to land big shots because he's gonna come back. So I just see I see Floyd just trying to outbox him, outbox him. Just give 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 a great show like he always do. Mm -hmm. And then just going back to you, just for some of the fight fans that want to know a little bit more about you. Since some like some of the other people you worked with, you know, obviously you're in Vegas and stuff. I'm sure you've worked up with some other notable people that you've been on. Oh, uh, obviously Floyd I, uh, for the Cruz fight. I was working with Tank for the cruise fight. Um, I, done, I done work with a lot of big guys. Uh, even though he's big, Tabidi. Yeah. But I got in there with Andrew Tabidi, Kevin Johnson, um, Shushu, Cash Flow. Um, I just recently worked with uh, uh, Keyshawn Davis before before okay. yeah, for his last fight he did. I got, I got a couple of rounds in with him. Uh, the upcoming amateur, uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna turn pro soon. Uh, Carmel. Yeah. How good is that kid? Huh? Yeah, Carmel. He a dog, man. He a there's, dog. A, there's a lot of hype for him, you know. Yeah, yeah, he a dog. Is, is he really like that's what they say he is? Like. Yeah, he he is. So like when I first got here, um, I knew he was younger than me. So obviously I knew that. So I didn't really go out and like go hard when he first started sparring. But I was like, oh nah, this not no regular, no regular 15, 16 year old. This 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 is like a little grown man. So like it's like when I spar him, I I'd be having to go all the way out. Really? Like yeah, you gotta turn it like at yeah. a percentage, let's say one percent to hundred percent. What percentage would you have to say? It'd be I'd be having to go hundred with him. Really? And that's because I don't know if you ever heard, you know, you got the uh, uh, they say yeah, it wants to be like a, a top amateur can be a pro because they throw so many punches you know in the professionals we don't throw that many punches we trying to place our shots and, and land our shots with meaning so and don't get me wrong Carmel does that too but he throw a lot of shots with it so it's, it's hard to keep up with that pace and it's like wait yeah he's he a beast for real man he a beast I heard he got some pop but obviously I've never been punched and I don't ever want to be yeah. punched by Carmel or you either what would you yeah. rate like the, the power of like a for, young kid for his age yeah he he he, he got popped for real. Mm. He got popped. I done seen him hurt grown men. He got he got popped. Yes. So um, he gon' he definitely gonna be a threat coming up in the rankings. But uh, he, he, all that you hearing about him is true. He, he a dog. Now um, there's some things that I'm hearing that maybe a Tank and Ryan Garcia fight might happen, and the fact that you've been able to work with Tank and things like that. Does Ryan Garcia have a chance? Like I know that everyone has a chance, but in your in, in your realm, does he have? 
a, a, a chance against Javante Davis, you would know best. Too. Okay, so I, I like Tank. Uh, he he a good, he a cool dude, but he can't box. In my opinion, they say he he done tried to show it, but in my opinion, he can't. He he he's like a Mike Tyson. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash for this, no, but I mean, I mean, but but Roly Roly was beating Tank until he got dropped. Mm. Roly was beating Tank, and that's because Roly was boxing. He's keeping him on the, on the outside. Once you let Tank in, it, it's a wrap. You can't never let him in. So Ryan Garcia. I feel I, I feel like he's gonna still lose, but it's gonna be it's gonna be like how Roly and Tank was. It's gonna it's gonna be a couple of rounds before he gets touched. Because Ryan Garcia, he he he, he fast and, and he know how to fight from the outside, but he lift his chin up a lot, and and we seen you know he can't take a punch. So mm. getting hit by Tank, that's that's really gonna put him out. He's not gonna get up from that. So. As, as long as he box, he's gonna be good, but I still feel like he's gonna get caught and end up losing. So I still got, I got tank for that. I mean, do you think Ryan can, you know, can, can maybe clip, you know, with that, that quick left hook or, or that, that lead um, hook that he, that he has? I don't, I don't think so. Tank, tank got a chin. Uh, we done seen that in his previous fights. I know, I, I, don't, I know I'm not as strong as all them dudes that's at the top of the game right now, but I don't touch them, so I know if he can take my power, because I, I hit pretty hard for my for my weight, but um, I don't I don't, just don't see Ryan, that, that little hook, I don't see it. It might make him cautious, though. It might make Tank cautious after he throw it, but I don't think it'll be like, okay, I gotta really watch that hook. I don't think it's nothing like that. Who do you think will probably give like Tank the most competitive fight? Like, what if you were, you know, able to be a matchmaker, you put Tank in there? Would it be a Shakur or a Devin or, uh, or even a? Keisha? I knew, I knew one of them two was gonna come up. Um, or someone else. Maybe you have like a a, a dark horse that that somebody. Uh, I mean, it it'll be between. Kid, don't get me wrong. Keyshawn good, but he not he not got any next experience yet. Yeah. For that. You know. But between Shakur and Devin, it's hard to say because they got power, but they don't really got no power to like keep Tank off of them. Mm -hmm. Devin Haney, I give Devin Haney the the, the, the best out of Shakur. It'll be it gotta be Devin Haney because Devin Haney's so slick and you know he 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 punched to not get punched. That's how he fight. So. I give Devin Haney the best, but it'll still be hard because he don't got no power, so Tank just probably just gonna walk through them shots. So that's the only thing. Like I like all them dudes, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I just don't like boxing wise. They beat the shit out of Tank, but if they can't keep Tank off of them, man, it's gonna be a rout. It's gonna be a rout. Of course. Well, before I let you go, obviously you just fought a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, obviously, maybe you know we were talking sorry we don't know, but hopefully we get like a, a, a fine announcement. Maybe yeah. maybe on some cards or something coming near forward. Yeah. But so um, I'm already scheduled for one in February. Um, I'm trying to get one in, in December. It's in talks right now, and then I may have some coming up in November. So hopefully that November won't fall through, and the December won't fall through. But I know I'm definitely fighting February. Awesome. Well, before I let you go, like I said, um, social media, um, where can they find you at? Because you, you get some cool, some cool breakdowns. I'm going to have to come back and, yeah. and make this a norm. Like, oh, uh, You can find me on Instagram at Ingram Jahan. Uh, same thing like with Twitter, YouTube, all that. It's just my name. Jahan Ingram, Ingram Jahan. So, and it's spelled J-H-O-N. Awesome. We well, appreciate the time, champ. Oh, yeah, no problem.